Hey guys, Boomer here. Uh, Mrs. Boomer and I, let me swing around. Hello. We uh, decided to go camping this weekend and we are at Sleepy Hollow State Park in Lanesburg, Michigan. So let me show you around. This is home for the next couple of days. This is our 12 by 16 tent. We forgot the little mat that goes in front of the door, but oh well. It works. Let me take you inside. And uh, all kind of room in here. And yes, we're glamping. We have a fan. But it's 85 degrees. So that's inside. And uh, these sites are not the biggest. They're okay. Uh, our electric is way over there. I don't even know if you could see it. It's like right there on the other side of this path. That's our electric right there and we have to run the cord all the way over. But we have electric so that's okay. We took a walk and looked at a bunch of the other sites and some were okay. Uh, in fact, Lori liked that one over there a little bit better than this one and uh, the electric box is right there at the campsite but it's actually shared with a couple of different uh, sites here and that's how they do it it could be three or four sites sharing the same electric and the other thing to be aware of if you come to Sleepy Hollow right here is a walking path and we've seen a lot of people coming and going and this takes you to the beach and the pier, the fishing pier, which is down that way, I guess about a half mile. So a lot of people walk by and here's our site. So it's not bad at all. Uh, I like to have a little more seclusion. But when I booked this site, it was the last one they had here. Uh, which is interesting because as we were walking, we saw several sites unoccupied. So I don't know what goes on with that, but that's okay. We're okay with this site. So here we are, Sleepy Hollow State Park. And if we make it to the pier tomorrow, I will do another video and show you the pier. Got the fire going. And what we do is we just stick that grate over the fire and use that concrete or that cinder block there to hold it in place. And we brought chicken and ribs and hot dogs and if all else fails and we got a bundle of wood here a pretty good sized bundle five bucks but if all else fails we have the Coleman propane stove ready to go so I don't know if we'll use it or not maybe to make coffee in the morning because it's quick and this over here is our bathroom if we set it up the luggable loo and the privacy shelter uh, but we're not that far from the facilities here so we might not even set that up but this is our first camping oh, on our five gallon water and uh, that collapses so we just collapse it down to uh, bring it here and then uh, fill her up uh, so we have plenty of water so here we are we're getting ready to cook dinner it uh, what time is it do you know it's got to be around 7 7 30 7 30 <laughs> so we better make dinner and uh, you can see that we do have a tarp underneath the tent uh, for a footprint there, kind of protect. Uh, we love this tent. We uh, had a four-man tent earlier, which is really a two-man tent <laughs> once you get in there with your stuff. But this, as I recall, was an eight-person tent, which is just plenty of room for the two of us. Uh, and uh, I can actually stand up and uh, I'm 6'3", and I can stand up in the middle of that tent. Now, if we wanted to, we could take the chairs in on one side and have a little sitting area. And You know, if it ever rains, that's something to think about. So here we are, Sleepy Hollow State Park, and you can see this is our site. There's a site right there. If you look down, there's more sites. They pack a lot of sites in this tight area. And I did watch a video of this uh, Sleepy Hollow State Park in the winter time and uh, it was of course all barren the leaves were gone and everything was covered with snow 
um, and it just looked like there was no seclusion at all uh, between the sites. But uh, in the summertime, when the leaves are in full bloom, it's not bad. Not bad at all. We're happy here. And it's going to be fun. Uh, only for one night, unfortunately, because Lori has to work tomorrow uh, at 5 and I have to work Monday. But it is what it is. We get to camp. So anyway, you want to say goodbye? Bye. All right. And uh, until next time, take care. And uh, who knows, maybe we did get a trailer for the Goldwing. Uh, yep, Lori's like, yes. So I do have to have it inspected. Uh, found out that none of the lights work because uh, they ran the wiring uh, through the tongue. And uh, I guess rodents got in there and chewed up the wiring. So I've replaced all that. I got all the lights working. I do have to have it inspected. Then you get a permanent tag for it. And we'll be able to load everything into the trailer and into the side cases and top box on the Goldwing and bring the Goldwing and do motorcycle camping. So looking forward to that. So until next time, uh, get out, ride, camp, have fun. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.